So we've seen how to publish an article using text pattern, but there's a lot going on on this write page uh, that we didn't talk about. So let's take a look at some of those items. Um, specifically, we're going to look at the keywords field, the categories and sections, the comments field, and also if we scroll down here, the article image and you are only title field. Okay, so first up is the keywords field, and this is where we'll enter any tags for our post. So I'm going to tag this one with blogging, blog tips. As you can see, I can just go along and click tags that I've previously used that show up in this long list here. Um, I'm also going to add the tag podcast since I talk about this Boag World podcast. Um, okay, over here in the category and section area, um, you can choose up to two categories. My site doesn't really make use of categories so much. I really focus on the tags, but um, you can choose your categories here. And um, my default section that I published to is article. You can see I have a number of other sections here, um, but article is where all my blog posts go, so I'm going to leave it at that. In the comments area, if I want to turn comments off, I can do that here, or if I want to um, maybe change the comment invitation to something else to try to encourage feedback, I can do that there. So let's click save, and refresh this page here and you can see my um, my tags have been added here. The last couple of fields I wanted to cover in this screencast are the article image field and the URL only title field. Now the article image field, if I just want to pop in a single image for this blog post, it's really easy. I just put the ID of the image that I've uploaded into the article image field. So that's pretty straightforward. The URL only title field is not generally something you're going to have to mess with. Text pattern generates the URL only title from your title that you give your blog post. Um, you can see that portion of the URL right here. And search engines read this, so it should be something that you pay a little bit of attention to. For example, if I make a um, typo in my title and then uh, you know, a couple of minutes later, after I've published the post, I realize that, then I should also go, and I correct it in the title field, I should also go into the URL only title field and correct it there as well. Um, another thing you might want to consider is if you have a super long title for whatever reason, you might think about shortening the URL only title to something a little more digestible. Um, in this case, this is not something I would have to do, but Boag Worldcom is not really readable. It doesn't really say what it means, so I'm just going to delete the com on there. And let's go ahead and save that. And you'll see that I, if I was to refresh this page, it wouldn't come up because I've changed the URL title. So I've got to go to just Boag World. So I've got my little image and my new URL only title right there.